Hey there, welcome back from the Great White North. We're going to do something today, um, cleaning a heater. If you have one of these or similar, um, you might notice that over time they start to produce less and less heat. Um, they still use the same amount of electricity, the settings and that are all the same, but they are just not quite putting out what they used to. And um, you might not notice it at first unless you got your hand right down there or you've been paying attention as to what it used to put out and what it uh, currently puts out. But depending on your household, if you have pets or kids or it's dusty or whatnot, um, it, the time frames can vary between when this buildup and whatnot can happen and it produces less heat. So they have a core in them. As you can see in here, it's that, a standard heater core and the fan on the back blows the air through the heater core and that's what gives you the heat. Over time, in the back, they start building up dust and dander, um, dead skin, pet hair, all manner of stuff. Lint, it can look um, very similar to that. Usually it's uh, a film that gets on there and you can't even really see through it. If you hold it up to a light and look through it, especially if you're looking through the fan side, you can actually see if there is um, build up inside the heater core and it'll be on the back on the fan side where the fan blows through not on the front you won't notice it on the front very much usually it's a simple fix um, you don't have to get rid of the heater the heater is still really really good usually um, it's just a simple fix the easiest way to do it is to carefully pry off the front you'll know pretty quick is it if it's that type of heater where it has the, the slots that go in that hold the grill on the front Give it a little bit of a pry and if you notice these slots on it then you can be assured that's going to pop off pretty easy once you have that popped off you take your heater and outside usually <laughs> that's the best place to do it and you use a compressor if you have it and you just blow the compressed air through the heater core reverse of the fan unplugged turned off all that kind of fun stuff safety features and all that and you blew it through until you notice the back it is separated the lint and whatnot will come off the back and it'll stick to this grill here and then you just simply vacuum it out anything that is kind of gets stuck in the grill you just pry it out with a screwdriver or tweezers or whatever and continue to vacuum check it a couple times and look through the light and see if there's anything left on there and voila you're pretty much done you just put it back together if you don't happen to have a, a compressor handy or whatnot, you can always use compressed air like they use for computers. So you go down to whatever box store you have, Walmart or computer store or whatever, and get a can of that compressed air for cleaning out your computers and whatnot. You'll go through a little more of it than a compressor because obviously it's not going to for pressure, but it will work and it can extend the life of your heater. It also makes it more efficient so you have more of the heat coming through heating your home as opposed to have the wind trying to blow through that um, film and not working at all. So that's pretty much that. It's a, like I said, it's simple, it's easy, it takes you a couple of minutes. Then you just simply put your screen back on, making sure that you have your slots in all the way around. Your screwdriver works really well for doing that again as well. You might have to straighten them out depending on if you push too hard and bend some of them. You know those pliers, obviously. And presto, you're done. Your heater will work again like it's brand new. Your energy bill will go down and you will have far, far less risk of fire. So that's that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Press like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.